Alright guys, Off-Road King here again. Got a update. It's a parts haul from RC Planet I got in today. Sorry I didn't do an unboxing. I was going to and my camera messed up. And halfway through the you know, unboxing and once you cut the box you can't really tape it back up and cut it again. So I figured I'd go ahead and take everything out. But this is the biggest thing that I ordered. It's the Parma Nissan Titan body for the Slash 4x4. Well, it's not for a slash 4 before. It's one tenth scale body. The tag is around here somewhere. Right here's the tag for it. Nissan Titan, one tenth scale clear. It's a really thick .06 Lexan. But, uh, really thick body. Real heavy duty. And, uh, for the Proline trenchers, you have to cut out a little extra in the fender wells. And as you can see on my shocks right there, I had to put like a, a limiter, a bump stop. And it's kind of hard to see. Let me back up a little bit. You can see the little silver part right there that it focuses on. If it tries to focus on the tire, but the silver part right there on the shock is a limiter. only allows the tire to go up so much before it hits the shock body. And that's just so it won't rub the body when it's turned and everything. Comes with some really nice decals. Real scale looking decals. I like that. Uh, got the MIP rebuild kit in for the CVD. So I can put my axles back together. I already put them in. As you can see up front. But for people out there, I, I don't see any videos on YouTube of it. But the Alfna Lock Lube comes in a little white can. Let me tell you right now. You think 500,000 weight is thick? This stuff is like hot milk glue. If anybody's ever used epoxy and they've got their hands in it right before it sticks, right before it hardens, that's the consistency of Alfna Lock Lube. And I have it in my differentials right now. And... It is a little diff action, but it is the stiffest diff I've ever felt, and I like that. I think it's really going to help me on axles, because I run my slipper tighter than probably a lot of people say you should. I had to cut the back of the body right there to fit over the part of the RPM bumper to fit on down. I'll show you once I get the body off, but got some tools in, Duratrax tools, ball in drivers. All the sizes, 1.5 to 2.5. Another thing I got, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a STRC motor mount plate, fin motor mount plate. You can't really see the fins, but it, it's a it's a well-built piece of equipment. And one thing that really helped is the RPM body hole punch, 5 16 hole punch. All right here's the tag for it. It works really well, and uh, but it does punch perfect holes. And for the price, three ninety five, it ain't too bad. I went ahead and picked one up when I was shopping. Next thing is, I picked up a J Concepts over tray. Right here, you can see J Concepts. Picked up one of these and uh, helped me keep some of the debris out of my chassis. I don't have. I gotta wash it and uh, paint it. This is. I'm going to paint the over tray in this, just Pactra, um, gloss black, and I'm going to paint the body in a gloss black and metallic blue racing stripes. So it's going to, it's going to keep the, the theme I'm going with, with metallic blue and black. Pretty much everything else on the RC is black or blue. But that's pretty much it for the parts haul from RC Planet, and this is Software King signing off. I'll see y'all later. Please comment, rate, and or subscribe.